Hey everyone, another random product review. This came about because I used to have one of these aluminum cheap whistles on my motorcycle keychain. You know, if I got into an accident and I couldn't yell, you know, a whistle would probably help. Maybe, I don't know. Slight enough, it's worth a try. I mean, I think it was less than a dollar, so you can't expect much. The reason why I had to throw this out is because you can see a little bit of a plastic piece. That plastic piece is what makes the whistling sound or causes turbulence to create the whistling sound. And the last time I looked in it, the plastic piece was like kind of melted away or rotted away somehow. So, I mean, it was on my keychain for a good five years at least, maybe ten. But uh, today's video is about a titanium one. And I was very careful to try to find images where I saw the thing, you know, the little block. Maybe it's in the video. This is actually the exact listing I got this from. There, right there, you can see. That doesn't look like plastic in there. Right, so. It showed up in the mail. Let's see if uh, what the deal is. I don't know. Weird box. Got crushed. I think this is just a padded envelope. So it's got one of these little bead necklaces, but these aren't strong. I mean, I wouldn't trust to use these for much of anything other than putting it on a, a model kit. They, they just break very easily. But I will save that for a model kit. Some, eh, I don't know, foam, whatever. Little bag. It's very much smaller than I assumed it would be, but I guess that's good because I don't want to have a giant thing on my keychain. I'm curious. Yeah, the listing does say the dimensions 40 by 20 by 8, and it's supposed to be 120 dB. So it's CNC'd uh, titanium, it's supposed to be. It's listed as that, so let's take a closer look. Oh boy, my photo booth is really... It's not even a photo booth anymore, it's just a table with a bright light over it. Uh, but yeah, you can see uh, the anodization of this titanium. It's pretty cool blue. And then it's obviously CNC machined. You can actually see some machine pass marks, right? especially there, right? But it's cool. It's a nice pattern, you know? It reminds me of like Rizoma mirrors for motorcycles. So it looks like the two side ducts, is, they're going to go off to the, to the sides. You're going to blow in here, and yeah, that's pleasantly titanium. It's not uh, plastic. So since titanium never rusts, it... You know, it's pretty resistant to acids. It's safe to assume this will last longer than my, than I will. All right, I just gotta put a strong enough uh, key ring loop on this, and then put it on my bike. So we gotta actually test the uh, <coughs> DB here. All right, so I just got this cheap uh, free app. You know, I actually have poster putty in my ears, <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm gonna first blow this really close, like literally just a half an arm's length away. It's gonna obviously be loud, but let's see if it'll go up to 120. My neighbors are gonna hate me, but it's the afternoon. Well, that's not really 120, is it? It says max of 95. Uh, all right. Let me do it again. Well, that's not very uh, loud. It's the rev meter goes up to 120. I gotta do this super close and maybe put the microphone here and see what happens. So I don't know if you were able to see that, but it's simply not as loud as 120. At least with my lungs. Maybe because I'm always coughing, I don't have the strongest lungs. Lungs, But, uh, hold on a second. I can't even tell what I'm saying because I got these poster putty things in my ear. Alright, I took those out, so. Yeah! Uh, your mileage may vary. I'd be curious if anyone else has this exact same thing and actually was able to get up to 120. I mean, I, I blew that thing right down here by the microphone, and uh, it still didn't go beyond 95. So, all right, guys. Well, take it for what you will. At least it's going to be um, indestructible, and it looks pretty cool. So, I'm down with it. All right, I'll see you guys.